Jamaican youth, we are the best. A brighter future that I feel with interest. Mahatma Gandhi said that you should be the change that you wish to see. So here I am, no longer accepting the things that I cannot change, but instead changing the things that I cannot accept. Like an adult dealing with a child, I can feed you what I want, however I want. I can tell you all that I have accomplished, my leadership roles, the honors, and the awards. But remember this, they mean little. Too many times we focus upon the past accomplishments of others, and we judge that, we judge that lone factor on who they are. But I urge you to ponder this point. Leading is nothing without passion. And passion dwells in the very belly of advocacy. It is what makes a leader a leader. And that passion, trust me, I possess. Through leading you, students of Region 6, I aim to bring about the passion in you and bring about that change that we all desire. Starting with the Walking Shoes campaign. In this campaign, we'll be taking the necessary steps required in order to have counselors who are new to be fully equipped with all they need to represent efficiently. This, com this campaign comprises of two key steps. Firstly, you have the step that will be taken at the start of the school year. Step one of walking shoes begins with baby steps for the new counselors, whereas, they whereas they'll be accommodated to the area, to leadership, to the advocating life, as well as to inform them on all they need to know about advocacy, as well as informing past leaders on the need to know that they did not know. The second step is called One Council, One Sound. I know, it sounds good. And for this One Council, One Sound, I see it as being the way forward for us all, whereas the entire council, both regionally and school-based, will take part in a reunited regime for the hashtag I am change movement. This movement, One Council, One Sound, hashtag I am change, comes from the shadows of past leaders, a lot of systems that they had. For example, the bodying system where schools were integrated into each other, whereas students got to, in more words than one, they got to, the bodying systems. Whereas not only will we have schools interchanging and interacting, interacting, but through calculated attacks on the mind frame and mindset of students, we are aiming to create this council, this body, a one council, one sound movement. movement. Also, note this. Good teams become great ones when members trust each other enough to surrender the me for the we. So through development, through workshops, through teamwork activities and regional growth pursuits, I am to make one council one sound who the region is, who NSSC is. I also want to start up what I call a school as team, a town hall meeting for high school students only at the end of each month. A meeting where as we can hear the concerns of students, where we can engage in discussions about the, what activities occurred in the past month, what they have accomplished, what they want to accomplish. Also, for these meetings, we're planning to have it at either the St. Catherine or Clarendon YIC, alternately, of course. And it will most likely be on a Tuesday, one of the least busy days of the year. For this, we have a number of persons who won't be able to attend every meeting. For example, if we are having it in St. Catherine, Clarendon students won't be able to attend. So we'll have a live stream set up for those who cannot attend. The goal of these meetings is to ensure that the voices of the advocating voices is also heard. In society today, everyone is leaning on change, desperately, see desperately seeking and awaiting change. Vote Talia, I am change. Whew. <sighs>a student council the first thing that comes to mind is advocating so the main role of the council is not only to advocate for students to be the voice of students but also to be the voice that is unheard of to be the voice that persons refuse to hear so student council national secondary student council is in charge of representing all youths all you youths who are part of secondary schools